Hey you guys, it's Vijaya and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make an Indian dish called paneer jalfrezi. It's paneer, which is fresh Indian cheese that's cooked with a bunch of vegetables. So I'm talking bell peppers, tomatoes, onions, gar no garlic, no garlic. There's ginger though, and chilies. And it's so, so good. And it comes together in 15 minutes, believe it or not. Also, if you're looking for the recipe, just expand this box down below and it's there for you. So shall we get started? Let's begin. So I've already gone ahead and prepped some vegetables. So I have some thinly cut tomatoes as well as some onions, some julienne ginger, and some green chilies. And you want them to all be like sort of long in shape like this. And now I'm gonna show you how to prep the bell pepper. Okay, so you're gonna just cut off the sides. And that way the seeds sort of stay intact in the middle and you don't have to worry about them. And then you wanna pull out any of these sort of white bits because they're not the tastiest. They're kind of spongy in texture more than anything. And once those are out of the way, again, you wanna cut those into long, thin strips. There goes one flying. <laughs> Okay, this is store-bought paneer. It's an Indian fresh cheese. You can buy it easily at the grocery store or you can even make it at home. And I'm just gonna cut this into batons, like little rectangular shapes, uh, because you want everything to be about the same size. So you want all the vegetables to be almost the same shape as the paneer as well. I've got a pan on high heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, and this is the first stage of the cooking process where we're gonna just briefly fry off our veg. Okay, and that's the sizzle that you're looking for. Everything's gonna go in, the chilies, the onions, the ginger, tomatoes, and the bell peppers. And you wanna saute this for about a minute to two minutes, just until they're barely cooked. You still want them to have a bit of crunch. Okay, so it's been about a minute and a half. The vegetables have reduced down a little bit. And you see they have a little bit of caramelization, but they're still crisp. So I'm gonna transfer them to a bowl. So I've got the same pan on medium-high heat now. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. And now we're gonna go in with our major aromatic, which is the cumin seed. And you want that cumin seed to get nice and toasty and sizzly so that it releases its natural oils and crisps up. And this literally takes about 10 to 15 seconds. Hear that pop? Perfect. 10 to 15 seconds is up. You don't want those to burn. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce. So I often get questions about the tomato sauce that I use. This is fresh. Passata, which is uh, Italian tomato sauce. So all that's in it is tomatoes, really, and they're picked at the height of their season, and then pureed and strained. So it's really a great product, and I like to use it in a pinch. And you just wanna cook this until the oil separates from the tomatoes and they really cook out. So this is a dry gravy, which is why there aren't too many uh, strained tomatoes in here, because you want the sauce to be nice and thick, just barely coating the paneer and vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt. And now we're gonna go in with the spices. So for the spices, I have some ground turmeric, some garam masala, I have a recipe for this on my channel, some red chili powder. So even though we have green chilies in this, I like to add red chilies for a different dimension of heat. And last but not least, there's the tiniest, tiniest pinch of black salt. And black salt is a very unusual ingredient. It has a funky smell, but it reminds me of India and it's so good in this. So that goes in as well. And you're just gonna cook this out because there aren't too many tomatoes in this pan. It's not gonna take very long actually. Cook it out for about four to five minutes until those oils separate and you have a rich tomato spice mixture. Okay, so the tomatoes have cooked out nicely. They're dancing in the pan. Remember we've talked about that before? When they slide around the pan like that, that's when you know they're good to go. I'm gonna add the vegetables back in. Give that a nice mix. 
And now I'm going to add my paneer. So you want to be very delicate with the paneer. If it breaks a little bit, no big deal. So you just want to coat it in those spices and the tomatoes. Really get them acquainted with one another and cook it out for two minutes. And guys, just like that, it's done. Garnish with some fresh chopped coriander. And that's a paneer dish for you in under 15 minutes. All right, let's give it a taste. I'm gonna get some of that paneer and a bell pepper, a little bit of those onions. Yum. Okay. The paneer is perfectly tender. It's so milky, but paired with all those spices and the crunchy veg, it is so good. Who knew you could make paneer in under 15 minutes, you guys? And you know what I would serve this with? Hot rotis, chapatis, parathas, really good for scooping it up. Or you know what? If you're going carb-free, you could just eat a pan of this on its own, and it's excellent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big old thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe for more videos. And as, a, as, a, as always, if you have any comments or suggestions for me, leave them down below. Until my next video, I will see you later. Bye.